today we're going to be showing you how to use the Strix Curly Tails. These are the Z-Man lures I've been using lately. Fantastic. As I said before, you might have seen a few of the other ones. They're super strong. They're stretchy. Now they just don't, they just don't tear up. They just last forever. So I'm going to show you how we're using them these days. I'm going to use this for brim. I know a lot of people think it's too big, but trust me, it's not too big for good quality brim. So I've got a 1.6 jig head and I'm going to put it on. It just goes through the middle like a normal lure would, pull it out. And because these lures are so soft and stretchy, they're a little bit harder to put on than a normal lure. But they go on nicely, so I push them all the way up like that. Then the trick for the pros is we pull them down. And this is where you need to learn to do this because this will make you catch so much more fish through the day. A bit of super glue, a little tiny dob on the front of it. Push that lure back up. We're ready to go. Top back on the super glue. And that lure is going to catch me a whole stack of fish today. And every time I pull it up a fish in, I'm going to take that lure out of its mouth, throw it straight back out. It's going to be ready to go. I'm not going to be mucking around with it. It's going to be in the water all day long catching fish for me. Look at that. He didn't he wanted that bad. Oh, maybe it's a little bit better fish than we've been getting now. We're fishing out here a bit deeper. Going to a little bit bigger lure. And one of those streaked curly tail four inch. It's one of the lures I'm going to be using in all my tournaments for upgrading fish. It's uh, already starting to prove itself here straight away. I think we're under a bit better quality fish than we've been getting on the edge. And there we go. In a tournament, you'd be very happy to catch a fish like that. That's a great fish in a tournament. And you can see he's got that lure and he's actually nailed it. And he's got that hook nicely in the corner of the mouth. And most people would consider a four inch lure too big for brim. But as far as I'm concerned, there's no way in the world a four inch lure is too big for brim. If you want to catch good brim, you've got to use a good size lure. It's that simple. Bite, 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 bite. And there we go. He ate his way onto that lure. Not a huge fish, but it's a fish. The fish counts, or then again, maybe it's a little bit bigger than we first thought. I think I might use the out net for this one. Uh, now that's more like it. Come on, stay still, buddy. That's what we get when we upgrade to a slightly bigger lure. We get a slightly better quality of fish. And you can see, caught him nicely right in the corner of the mouth of that TT's jig head. Four inch curly tails. Absolutely gun lure. Well, that's one hungry fish. Have a look at how far down he's got a four inch lure. Hey? Now he's not a really big fish, but you can see that he just had to have that fish, that, that lure. He just wanted it bad. So, get the hook out. And we'll pull the lure out of his mouth. And you can see how much he had in there. He had a stack of that lure in there. That's how hungry he was. Put him back in the water. We've got the lure ready to go again. Right back in the water for another fish. Not massive fish, but they're nice quality fish. Look at that. It's a four inch curl tail, tails streak. And he has engulfed that right down. 
incredible how much they love these plastics. Now check this out. Plastic. Pop it out of his mouth. That's how big it is. And he just engulfed the whole thing. Put him back in the water. There you go, buddy. For another day.